Reddit what did you find out about your deceased friend or relative while going through their stuff. I found a folder of letters between my two grandmothers. My parents split when I was two. And my mother got together with a psycho when I was five. They were basically conspiring for my entire childhood to protect me as much as they could and make sure that I had something of a childhood. My wife left incredibly loving statements about me in her diary. I still haven't been able to gut through reading the whole thing, but I did flip to the back and found where she wrote, I knew you'd look back here. Thank you for slimming it with me all these years. For the record, I've never slummed a day in my life. My grandfather apparently put 4 or 5 kids through college in the 70s and 80s. He came from a really poor family and only went to college because he got an ROTC scholarship. So he spent a fair amount of money putting other kids from really poor families through college when he was older. After my grandmother passed we were packing up her clothes to give to charity when we found her purse she had been sick for years and hadn't used it in a long time. Tucked inside her wallet was a love letter that she had been carrying for over 60 years. It was not from my grandfather. It was from a man she dated before grandpa who had gone off to fight in WWII. The letter was super steamy. He was writing to her from England just before day. We assume he died shortly after. I discovered that my dad wrote sardonic and witty asides in the margins of many of his books, which were great to read as they were just so him. My mom was planning on divorcing my stepdad and kidnapping her friend's baby. Her death was sudden and aneurysm in her brain had ruptured. When she was in the hospital her lawyer called her cell phone, which is how I found out about the planned divorce. I never told my stepdad. The kidnapping wasn't obvious. But we were able to piece it together when going through her belongings. My mom adored her friend's baby. She had a room in the house for her with a dresser full of outfits. When we were cleaning up we discovered that this dresser was empty. Save for a few diapers. Her luggage was also missing. It was odd. But we didn't think too much about it until we found contact information for the landlord of the house she was renting in the next state. A house which she had rented under her maiden name. A house where we found suitcases with my mom's and the baby's clothes. It sounds terrible. But we were lucky she died when she did. After my mom passed, my dad discovered she had been carrying on an affair for years while going through her ML account. It's messed him up pretty bad and now he's obsessed with the idea of getting revenge on the guy. I wish I had never found out because it's almost ruined the image of my mom in my head. Had a friend disappear two years ago and his body was found several states away about four months later after he had gone missing. His parents got into his apartment and he packed up most of his stuff into boxes giving them to different people. His parents each got one. Brother. Sister. A few friends and I got a small box. He included a note to please honor his request to not open the boxes and give them to the people they were for. They held the boxes until his body was found. His parents dropped my box by my house after the funeral and we talked for a bit. He'd had some mental issues and they were glad he felt he was finally at peace, even though it ended this way, going through the box. He gave me some sewn games we'd played together. A small Lego set of a car I'd given him for Christmas when we were 13 or 14. The last thing in the box was a notebook. I opened it and it was a bunch of short stories he'd written. I paged through it and the stories started getting violent and scary. The last few pages were drawings of dismembered people and animals. It looked very much like Patrick Bateman's planner at the end of American Psycho. He'd always been a little off and taken medicine for it as long as I'd known him. We would talk two, three times a month. But I didn't know it had gotten as bad as it did for him. I miss him and am sad he's gone. But I'm more sad he thought this was the only thing he could do. When my grandma died 8 years ago, my aunts and uncles my mum has 5 siblings to make a total of 6 found their box. Inside was a black and white photo of a baby boy and a name. Date of birth and hospital name scribbled on it. Turns out my gran gave up a baby for adoption after she had my mum. So there's a long lost uncle somewhere out there. As far as I know. No one has tried to track him down yet. 
My grandfather hated cats. Couldn't stand them wouldn't have them in his house. Anytime we talked about wanting a cat he'd harem and ramble about dogs. A few years after he passed, my grandmother was moving out to live in a retirement apartment. So she didn't have to deal with stairs or worry about having another fall. As we cleaned, we started going through a lot of my grandfather's stuff. We found, in a box in the basement, a framed picture of my grandfather as a young child, holding a cat. On the back of the picture, likely in pencil, is the cat's name. No one knows a thing about it, and we can only speculate. But clearly, at one point, he loved that cat. Maybe not so interesting. But when my grandfather died I found an old medal. There were two men on a motorcycle. One of them was driving, and the other one was standing up on his seat. I asked my dad about it, and it turns out that my grandfather used to be a motorcycle acrobat. Seriously, how rare was that? How many motorcycle acrobats used to be in Middle Europe around 1960, 70? My dad died a few years ago just before Christmas. It was the first death in our family in a long time, and it came out of nowhere so everyone was shocked. He still had packages coming in the mail for Christmas, so I would grab them, because I wanted to wrap them up for the people, and give them as a last gift from him. I started opening the packages in my room and just dumping them on my bed. First one was a guitar wall mount, second one was some miscellaneous electronic components and the last one dumped out in slow motion. It was a CCK ring. Vibator and some massage oils. I was mortified and just threw them back in the package. I still have the box tucked on top of my closet because I have no idea WTF to do with it. I just can't give it to my mom because it'd be awkward and I can't use it myself because it'd be awkward so it just sits in my closet and every once in a while I come across it and laugh. Too long didn't read dad died. I opened his mail and it was his ex toys. You sit carry on his legacy. He is watching you, and waiting for you to bear the ring. One ring to rule them all. My mom died of cancer a couple years ago. While I was going through her office I did some math, and figured that she spent just shy of 200,000 on shamans. Miracle cures and weird investments in South America during the last two years of her life. My grandpa secretly kept several pictures from when he and my grandma were dating. She was embarrassed to see them, so he had hidden them away. Grandfather served in the UK Navy just after the Second World War. I knew this much. What I didn't know was he was known as the go-to guy for contraband. Think Red and Shawshank Redemption. Basically if you wanted something that was officially an owner he'd sort you out. His crowning achievement smuggling a samurai sword past UK customs when arriving home for a fellow sailor, achieved by stuffing it down his trousers and pretending he had a really bad limp. While cleaning out my grandpa's house after his death, we found his father's papers from when he immigrated to the United States. Turns out my family has been spelling our last name wrong for almost 100 years now. When my grandfather passed away, over 10 years ago now, we had to clean out his basement. He was a soldier in WWII, and we knew we would find some army stuff in boxes. What we didn't expect to find was a box of photos from the liberation of Dachau concentration camp. He had never spoken of this to anyone, not even my grandmother. He had told us stories of being in Vienna and other places after the war, but never much about during hostilities. It's one thing to see pictures in history books or on Wikipedia, but to see pictures someone you know took in person is another altogether. The truth. My grandma passed away two months ago. I went through her notebook and found something she wrote about how my father almost killed my mom. I was there the whole time. See, I always have these weird flashbacks of that moment. I thought it was a part of my imagination cause everyone in my family said so. Turned out it was not. Not me, but my mother. Her parents died around 13 years ago. When her father passed after her mother, my mother started to go through their belongings to clear out their childhood home. They had a lot of stuff because they had natural children, foster children, and adopted children. My mother often had a rough childhood due to the foster children. 
but the adopted family were very close. In any case, she was going through much of their filed paperwork related to the adopted and fostered children, and noticed a discrepancy in the number of adoptees. She took the paperwork to her siblings and turns out she was adopted. Her entire family knew she was adopted, and not a single person thought to tell her for 30 plus years. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.